Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm very excited to share with you this new model from Arki AI, which is Supernova Matthias. I have covered heaps of model from Arki AI and they always come up with something new. This time, this is Supernova Matthias, which is a 14 billion model developed by them, built on Quen 2.5 14 billion instruct architecture. Even the naming of this model is as unique as with the other models of Arki AI. Supernova is an extremely powerful and rare astronomical event where a star explodes, releasing immense energy and light, which often briefly outshines an entire galaxy. It marks a catastrophic end of a massive star's life cycle, whereas medius is a Latin word meaning middle or medium. So, the naming convention is really interesting, but even more than that, the model is a distilled model. So this unique model is the result of a cross architecture distillation pipeline. What it means is that it combines the knowledge from both Cohen 2.5 72 billion instruct model and the Lama 3.1 405 billion instruct model. That's right. Both of these models, which I mentioned, Lama 3.1405 and Quen 2.572 billion, are two of the most performing models from the top list. And we have covered them on the channel and you know about it. So by leveraging the strengths of these two distinct architectures, Supernova Medius achieves high quality instruction following and complex reasoning capabilities in mid-sized resource efficient form. Supernova Medius is designed to excel in variety of business use cases, especially in customer support. And customer support for technical assistance is its forte. It's an ideal solution for organizations looking for advanced capabilities without the high resource requirement for larger models. By the way, they also have something called a Supernova 70 billion, but that is not the Medius one. Anyway. So in this video, we are going to install it locally and then we will play around with it. And I will also be telling you a bit more about its architecture. But before that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. So do check them out. Coming back to this supernova, before I install, let me try to explain two very important concepts because installing it is not that big of a deal. I think it is more interesting before that to learn about these two concepts. First concept is what is a distilled AI model? A distilled AI model is a smaller, more efficient version of a larger pre-trained model trained to mimic or copy the performance of the original model, but with fewer parameters and computational requirements. This is achieved through knowledge distillation, where the smaller model learns from the output and patterns of the larger model, retaining the accuracy while reducing its size and complexity. And this model is a distilled model. Another concept you need to understand is of logits. Logits are the raw output from the model, which represent the probability of each outcome before applying a activation function, which could be a softmax function. So these are the two things you need to remember. Let's go back to our um, supernova medius. So what they have done is they have uh, the development of the supernova medius involved a multi-teacher cross-architecture distillation process. And let me start the installation and while it will install, I will try to explain what exactly that process is because it, it is very interesting. So let's go to my terminal. I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. <clears throat> I think the total size of model is around 30 gig. So we will see how much VRAM it consumes. Let me clear the screen. Let's create a virtual environment with Skoda. I'm just calling it AI. Let's wait for it to get installed. And that should be activated now. Next up, let's install all of these prerequisites. 
and let's wait for these to get installed this is going to take a minute meanwhile that happens let me also introduce you to our sponsors who are agent ql agent ql is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale you can use their python sdk to run your queries in production it's a robust alternative to fragile xpath and dom css selectors as it uses the power of ai to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for and i will also drop the link to their website in video's description now while that installation goes on let me try to explain this distillation pipeline which i was referring to so as i said it's a cross between llama 3.405 billion and quant2 so what they did was they did this distillation of logits from llama 3.1405 billion and they just grabbed top k logits for each token and then they adopted the cross architecture so they, what they did they used merge kit and created a version of quant 2.514 billion that uses the vocabulary of llama 3.1405 billion so this allows the use of llama 3.405 billion logits in training the quant based model how good is that and the ad adapted or distilled quant 2.514 billion model was trained using the stored 405 billion logits as a target and in a separate process quant 2 72 billion was distilled into a 14 billion model and then they did the final fusion of these two and after realigning the vocabularies of both models a final fusion and fine tuning step was conducted using a specialized data set from evolkit amazing stuff and you can read all about it in their model card and i will drop the link to it in video's description okay let's go back to our terminal okay everything is installed let's launch our jupyter notebook and we will download and play around with the model in the browser environment so let's wait for it to get launched so the jupyter notebook is launched let's import the libraries and then download this model with the tokenizer and the model has started downloading it has six shards of around similar size so let's wait for it to get downloaded here model is almost downloaded and the model model with the tokenizer is now also loaded onto our gpu let's do the inference for the inference i'm just asking it what is the smallest country in the world and then i'm asking it giving it a system prompt where we are telling the ai what it is supposed to do that it's coin you can change it to maybe i'll just because this is a coin format i'm using so i'm just going to tell it that you are a helpful assistant and then i'm applying the chat template we are converting the text prompt into tokens so that model would be understand and then we are passing some of the hyper parameters to the model we are generating the output we are decoding it back with tokenizer and printing the response and there you go look at the response of the model the answer is correct that the smallest city is vatican city also known as the holy see it is an independent city state and then it is also giving us some of the key facts about it and then all that stuff good stuff really good stuff okay so let's try out another one in the next one i am asking it write me a research paper on data set preparation for an ai model come up with some new idea let's see how it performs and as you mentioned earlier that this is a cross between llama 3.1 and quen 2.5 but it is built upon quen 2.5's architecture so that is why i have selected the prompt template and the whole stuff for quen okay so it has come back let's see there you go so it has given us abstract that the performance of ai model heavily relies on the quality of quantity of training data traditional methods and then it is just telling us about the new method introduces a novel approach to data set operation good stuff you see it has followed the instruction and then it has gone in and then introduction and then just going on around, around good stuff okay so let's try out uh, maybe a math question and look at the reasoning of this so see it has gone from left to right first second third and then the final answer is 20 which is spot on so math is quite good okay so now let's come to the actual use case of this model which is a customer support especially technical support 
So I'm going to give it some customer support technical questions to see how it performs. So first up, I'm asking it. My laptop screen is blank after startup. What should I do? Let me run it to see what happens. Let's see what it responds to. So the model has printed the response. Let's check it out. So it is saying if your laptop screen is blank after startup, there are several steps you can take to troubleshoot. Check power supply, display setting, press this, 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 external monitor and all that stuff. Very nice. You see, it has given us quite a good response and it has cut down the output because I have just set the max new token to 300. Maybe I could increase it to 512. Okay, let's try out another one. I'm just going to ask it. I'm getting a no internet connection error. How can I resolve this? Let's run it. Let's wait for it. And the response of model is here. It is saying a no internet connection can be caused by various issues. So you see it is check your device internet, restart your device, check your router, check your ISP, reset your network, check for malware. How good is that? Really, really good. So, so you see the customer support, technical support is quite good. Let's ask another technical support question, which is a bit hard. Maybe I'll just say my Oracle database is slow. Due to a high query latency, what optimization techniques can I use? Let's see what it comes up with. So it has come back with the response. You see it is saying that do the index optimization, query optimization, and then some of the uh, cost-based optimizer plans and all that stuff. Database configuration, hardware storage, statistics, and all that amazing stuff. It's really good stuff. And <clears throat> if you really quickly go through it, it is talking about Oracle specific uh, components like PGA and SGA, which is a shared global area and all that stuff. Very nice. Okay, so this is a technical one. Let's see if it can also do some non-technical customer service. So I'm asking it a quintessential question. Where is my order? I haven't received it yet. Let's see what model does here. Okay, so you see, I have given it a generic prompt and it has given me the generic answer here. That what is the name of company? Do you have order number and all that stuff? Now, this is where your system prompt comes very handy. So you can just say here, you are a helpful, and I'm just going to change it, that you're a helpful customer service assistant of a, or maybe of an online new company. That's it. And now let's see how it does. And then for the prompt, I'm just telling it, sorry, let me go up. Where is my order? I haven't received it yet. Let's run it again, the same thing, and let's see how the response changes. And there you go. You see the response has changed now. It is telling us that I'm sorry to hear that you haven't received this. And then can you please provide me with your order number and the email address? And then it is going to track it. Very nice. Okay, let's try to ask it another question. So I'm asking it, can you recommend shoes for walking? Let's see what it does here. And there you go. Look at the response. It's saying certainly when it comes to walking shoes, comfort and support are key. Here are a few steps. Walking shoes, running shoes, and then it is telling us about the shoes. And then it is telling us what to look for. Uh, cushioning support, fit and traction. Of course, you can modify it to your prompt. You can um, give it proper shoe brands and all that stuff to get more ta tailored answer. You can do ragging with it, but you see the model is really good at customer service. Let's try out a prompt from an angry customer. So I'm asking if these shoes are fake, I demand a full refund and compensation and let's run it. Okay, so let's see what happens here. I think I need this sort of assistant too for my channel when some people are not happy no matter what I do. So uh, full respect for everyone. But I think I need an assistant like this. Okay, so let's wait for this model to come back. So the model has come back. Let's see what model says here. So it says model is again apologizing. And then it takes says that it we, we take any claims of counterfeit products very seriously. Could you please provide me detail about shoes and all that stuff? Very nice. Okay, let's try one more. Let me go up. So in this one again, an angry or maybe over demanding customer. 
The prompt is, you said you will also send me socks with my new, new shoes and I just received shoes. I don't want to speak to CEO now. So let's see what model does here. Okay, so the model has come back. Let's see what model says. And the model is saying, I understand you are disappointed that the socks were not included. I apologize for the oversight. While I am not the CEO, I can certainly assist you with this issue. And then, very good answer, you see. And it, it is even providing me with a discount code for next purchase to make up for the inconvenience. How good is that? Okay, let's try out one more prompt. Let's do a final one. Let me fix the formatting. Okay, so this question is inspired from a book I read a few days back around Zappos. So the question is, I know you are a shoe company and you are here to help with shoes, but I'm in a jam at the moment. I'm having a party at my house and we have run out of business. Someone said that your shoe company is so customer obsessed that you would help with anything. So can you please do an online search and tell me what's the closest business shop around Sydney CBD where I am right now? So as I said, so I was reading the a book from uh, Tony C, who was the CEO of Zappos, and he did the same thing during his party. He called his own customer support and asked them about this pizza question. So let's see what model does here. Model has come back. Let's check it together. It says, I am glad to hear that you have heard about our commitment to customer service. While we specialize in shoes, I'd be happy to help you out with your pizza dilemma. How good is that? How good is that? And you know what? It has given us a correct answer too. So Pizza Express, Pizza Hut. This is a Castlery Street and then again Pitt Street in Sydney, uh, De Bella, Pizzeria. And then it is also, uh, if you need any shoe related help in the future, we are always happy to assist. Enjoy your party. I think one of the best answers. So you see, the model is really customer obsessed. And so Zappos uh, now, which is part of Amazon, is not the only company. Anyway, Supernova is really super, really impressed by the quality, especially when it comes to customer service. I'm not only technical, but you also saw the non-tech one. That's it, guys. I will drop the link to it in video description. Let me know what you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, please share it among your network on social media as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.